And we're at Travers Town. Hey all you cool cats, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts. We just finished um, doing Tarzan's World, so now we're in Traverse Town, and as I recall, there were some red spots that I could mess with, but let's talk to Yuffie here. Um, oh yeah, she said that last time, but I remember there being a red, yes, a red mark here. Oh, that created a shortcut. Nice. I guess we should go see the shortcut. Oh, more Dalmatians. Oh, I can't jump over this. Oh. I found quite a few of them. Oh. <gasps> Yeah, he gave me a present. Karagaji. Baragaji. Oh, it must have queued up presents. Like, I must have gotten so many, it must have uh, rolled over. Oh, God, just now. I don't want to fight. Up here. There is. It's behind these boxes. I can't move these boxes though. Oh, just never mind. Just never mind. Just never mind. There we go. That's ridiculous. Oh look, but Leon's here. This place is so mysterious. So you found the keyhole. Yeah. The keyblade locked it automatically. Good. Every world among the stars has a keyhole. Each and each one leads to the heart of that world. There must be one in this town as well. What do you mean? It was in Ansem's report. The heartless enter through the keyhole and do something to the world's core. What happens to the world? In the end, it disappears. That's why your key is so important. Please lock the keyholes. You're the only one who can. Seeing the other worlds would probably serve you well. Yeah. We gotta find your friends and King Mickey. I guess you're right. Hey, Leon. This gummy block's different from the others. Do you know what it's for? Ask Sid. He should know. Wait, Sora. Take this with you. Earthshine. The stone holds the mysterious power. I've been carrying it for luck. I want you to hold on to it. How do you use it? Uh, Leon? That is what um, Squall used to do in uh, Final Fantasy VIII, was he would just, like, do all the internal monologue while, uh, while all he would say is ellipses. I remember there being, like, a broken electric current over in this district. No idea what that did. I turned it on, but did it actually do anything? It might have just spat out like some sort of orb or something at me, and I just didn't know what it did. A big tournament is being held somewhere, Kubo. Sure it is. What have you got there? Hey. Well, if it ain't a gummy block. Yep. What's this one for? You're kidding me. 
You're flying a gummy ship and you don't know nothing about navigation gummies? Bunch of pinheads. They're space ain't no playbook. There's a lot we don't know, so what? We have to use the gummy ship to go to other worlds. We don't have a choice. Well, easy. I didn't know. No hard feelings, alright? Well, I guess I could lend y'all a hand then. Thanks. Basically, with navigation gummies, you can go to new places. You want one on your ship, right? I'll install it for you. I got this thing I gotta go deliver first. What do you need to deliver? Just this book. It's real old. When the guy brought it in, it was practically falling apart. Too beat up to restore it the way it was. But overall, I did a decent job putting it back together. Anyway, you mind delivering it for me? It's the old house past the third district. Look for a big fire sign. But what was that? Hmm? The bell at the gizmo shop is ringing. Go check it out if you want, but deliver that book for me first. When you're done, stop by the house in the third district. I'll be there. Okay, so something about the gizmo shop, but deliver... So something about the gizmo shop, but deliver the book first. Alright, got it. Book, 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 book. Third district, third district. Fire! Oh, I had to light it with fire. Makes sense. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. These, th these rock things are trying to escape. Stop wiggling, rocks. What the fudge? Oh, there's a hole here. Uh, okay. There's something about this musty place. Kyrie? It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Kairi? Sora? What the fudge? Well, well. Oh, it's Merlin! Whoa, this is an old, old, old Disney cartoon. You arrived sooner than I expected. What? You knew we were coming? Of course! Are you a heartless? He doesn't look like one. What the? We assumed he's a heartless? Oh my, no. My name is Merlin. As you can see, I am a sorcerer. I spent much of my time traveling. It's good to be home. Your king has requested my help. King Mickey? Yes, indeed. Donald, Goofy, and who might you be, young man? I'm Sora. Didn't you say you were expecting me? Ah, so you have found the key. What did the king ask you to do? Just a moment. Presto! There now, hell. Your king asked me to train you in the art of magic. We can start anytime you like. Let me know when you're ready to begin the training. Oh, and one more thing. Pumpkin? Oh! <laughs> Hello, I'm the Fairy Godmother. Your king asked me to help too. We will assist throughout your journey. I don't know how much I can be of help, but do stop by any time. Hello. 
My world has disappeared too. I'm so worried about Cinderella. Wait, there's a trin- I didn't even see the Trinity mark! <laughs> but, hey. Did I give you the book? Oh, that book! So, Sid asked you to bring this. Thank you. You wish to know what kind of book this is? I don't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. Somehow it found its way into my bag one day. It was such a curious book, I asked Sid to repair it for me. Well, I guess I'll put it some I'll put it here somewhere for now. This book holds a great secret. The missing pages will unlock it. I'll leave the book over there. Do look at it whenever you like. My best regard to Sid for repairing it for me. Oh, and about that stone of yours. You should ask the fairy godmother about that. Do you know what this is? Oh, the poor thing. He has turned into a summon gem. A summon gem? This little creature lived in a world that was consumed by darkness. When a world vanishes, so do its inhabitants. But this one had such a strong heart, he became a gem instead of a vanishing with this world. Can he regain himself? Yes, but only his spirit. Now watch. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo. Learn to summon spell Simba. To use summon magic, you need three party members in battle. Each summon spell can only be used once per battle. Be careful, you cannot use summon magic while any party member is KO'd. Summon characters withdraw from battle once they've run out of MP. You can also select the dismiss command to dismiss them. More info on each summoned character is available in Jiminy's journal. Whenever you call, he will help you. If you find any more of these, bring them to me. Don't worry. When their worlds are restored, they will return there. Sora, please help save them. Don't worry, I will. I don't think I need to practice magic. I think I'm good. What is this? How did I teleport onto the book? An empty meadow. Oh! Winnie the Pooh! <sighs> sink, 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 sink. I probably shouldn't say this because this is probably gonna like make someone mad but I always hated Winnie the Pooh because I always thought he was like incredibly selfish and like like ruined a lot of people's days hi there what's wrong nothing I just thinking oh I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? yes Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? What are you well, talking no. about? Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together, or play poo sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Oh, just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree too. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. 
But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. <laughs> Anyways, I always hated how selfish Boo would act. And especially when, like, I felt bad that the, um, rabbit was always, like, working so hard and then Boo would come and just, like, ruin his day. And I was like, wow, what a selfish jerk. I don't know. <laughs> so I, I always disliked, um, Boo. So is that it? Wait, I can go here. Mr. Sanders? Oh, mother. There's no more honey left. If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. to know what happens next. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Would you find them for us? <laughs> I guess there's nothing else to do here. Very well, then. Let's go see Sid before going anywhere else. There you are. What's going on? Riku. Riku. Is it really him? Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku! Wait a second, where's Kairi? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this. Leave it to who? Sora, uh, what did you? I've been looking for you, and Kyrie too, with their help. Who are they? We visited so many places and worlds, looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora's the Keyblade Master. Who registered it? What's that mean? So, this is called a Keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back! Catch. How do you take it out of my hands? Okay. So you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. No, he can't come. What? Forget it. Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Oh, he's gone. What? Riku? 
Nice going. Oh well. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon, too. Okay, Donald, what was up with that? Where'd he go? He was right here. Did you go inside the small house? What the f- <laughs> What are you guys all doing in here? Don't you have to go see Set? He's right in front of you. You guys ever hear of Maleficent? No. Here she's in town. Who is she? A witch man. She's a witch. She's the reason this town is full of Heartless. Don't take her lightly. She's been using the Heartless for years. We lost our world thanks to her. One day, a swarm of Heartless took over our world. That was nine years ago. I got out of that mess and came here with these guys. That's awful. Our ruler was a wise man named Ansem. He dedicated his life to studying the Heartless. His report should tell us how to get rid of the Heartless. Where's this report? We don't know. It got scattered when our world was destroyed. I'm sure Maleficent got most of the pages. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Are you stupid? Evidently. Now he values them far more than he does you. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna pause right now. Are you, is it gonna obviously fall for like this stupid, stupid opinion that she's giving him? Okay, hold on. Like, rewind. Sora just said he's been looking all over for the two of them. Like, repeatedly. Interrupting Donald and Goofy's conversation with Riku to tell him about it. Is he about to just, like, fall for this? From some creepy-looking, obviously evil-looking person? You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. Riku, are you that stupid? <sighs> so you delivered that book. That navigation gummy's installed and ready to go. You find another one, you bring it to me. I threw in a warp gummy for the heck of it. Now you can jump to worlds you've been to before. Oh, thank you. Well, better get back to my real job. What's my real job? You'll see. See me at the first district. I've been thinking about the bell in the second district. The one that rang a bit ago? And that one's above the gizmo shop. There's a legend about it, you know. But it's all boarded up. Nobody can get in there. Hey, go check it out. Ring it three times to see if anything happens. Summon gem. Interesting. We'll try to find out what... We'll try to find out what Maleficent is up to. Move, do Move! This room will be our secret base. It's nice and snug here. <gasps> okay. Oh, hey! Those boxes moved out of the way.
Whoa! Oh, no, 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 it's you! Why are you back? Thunder! Summoning do. We're about to find out.
can you not? I'm sensing a pattern here. Oh, Jesus. Please tell me that's it. Please don't tell me you have another form. Just die. I saw something about a hurricane blade and I don't know. It looked like all three of them leveled. Attain the power of wind. Learn the magic spell arrow. I haven't even tested out cure. Navi G piece. Is that it? The other thing I noticed was um, inside the gizmo tower thing, um, everything was moving in there. Like, I think I could probably. Is enemies gonna spawn? Cool, no enemies. I noticed that this was up here. What did it do? It made a happy noise, but what did it do? clock is stuck at 6.54. Is there something important about 6.54? I think I got like two postcards instead of just one there. Maybe that's what would happen. Hey now, that was quick. Now you know, I'm in the gummy block business. Working on your gummy ship sure was great. Come again and I'll give you a big discount. Go ahead, take it. It's a special giveaway. That is still closed. Hey, got another navigation gummy there, eh? Bet you want it installed. Yeah, please. It looks like another one of those blocks that comes in as sets. Gotta find the mate to this one. Let's turn in the other postcards and see what I get. Hey, what happened to mom and dad? Good question. Sent six, seventh, missing three postcards. And I think I'm good. I think I'm done here. Well, even if this is a really short episode, it's good that I, I got a lot of progress done. And I guess I can go and read some journal entries that I've kind of left behind. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to remember to like. I will see you guys the next time if you don't want to hear this journal entry stuff. Otherwise, see ya! Alright. Opposite armor. Heartless that guards the keyhole in... Traverse Town it is a modified form of guard armor, but is more powerful and a lot easier to handle. <laughs> you should add that in. Um, oh, Simba, the leader of the Pride. He rules over the other animals of the Pride Lands, his Savannah Kingdom. Hold down the triangle to charge up his power. When the command changes to Proud Roar, release the button to attack. That would have been handy information to know earlier. Hold the button down longer for more power. Cost 2 MP. He roared onto the scene in The Lion King in 1994. I actually thought it was going to be like really little Simba, and it wasn't. 
Queen of Hearts, a queen of Wonderland who lives in a castle with decks and decks of card soldiers. Selfish and short-tempered, she beheads anyone who crosses her. She thinks Alice tries to steal her heart. She struck terror in our hearts in Alice in Wonderland. Hearts of <laughs> cards, hearts. Spear-carrying guard who serve the Queen of Hearts. They fear the short-tempered queen and are careful not to irritate her. Marched onto the scene in Alice in Wonderland 1951. Card spades. Troops who heavily with heavy axes who serve the Queen of Hearts. They fear their short-tempered queen and are careful not to irritate her. Marched onto the scene in Alice in Wonderland 1951. White Rabbit. Loyal servant to the Queen of Hearts. He led Sora and his friends to the Queen of Hearts castle. He wasn't late for his appearance in Alice in Wonderland 1951. Cheshire Cat. A mysterious grinning cat who talks in riddles and can appear and disappear at will. He loves to mislead and confuse. He entered with a big smile in Alice in Wonderland 1951. Doorknob. A talking doorknob in the door... A talking doorknob in the door to Wonderland. To enter, you must turn him... And one good turn deserves another, as he would say. Doorknob was the only character in Alice in Wonderland, 1951, who didn't appear first in the original story. Hercules, a legendary hero with godlike strength. He's the son of the gods Zeus and Hera, but not a god himself. The people regard Hercules as a true hero. He went from zero to hero in Hercules, 1997. I'll never say his name right. Velocities? Phil the Satyr is a veteran trainer of heroes and Herc's mentor. These days, he's very busy running the Coliseum and choosing competitors suitable for the games. He came out of retirement in Hercules, 1997. Hades, Lord of the Underworld. He's using the Heartless to try and take over the world. To get Hercules and Sora out of the way, he sent Cloud to fight them in the Colosseum. He heated things up in Hercules, 1997. Winnie the Pooh, a little bear living in the Hundred Acre Wood. His favorite food is honey. Being a bear of very little brain, he's a bit absent-minded. Sometimes he even forgets what he was trying to remember. He warmed up the scene in Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. 1966. Owl. The wisest resident of the Hundred Acre Wood. When any, whether, whenever anyone has a question he can't answer, he asks Owl, though Owl isn't always right. Owl likes to talk, but sometimes he puts his listeners to sleep. He showed us, his, he showed us the wisdom of his ways in Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree in 1966. Leon, a swordsman who wields the gunblade. His real name, Squall Leonhard. He escaped to Traverse Town when the Heartless raided his homeworld to part with his old self, a man who had helped, who had been helpless to stop them. To part with his old self, a man who had been helpless to stop them, he changed his name. Since meeting the king who has been so vil vigilant against the Heartless, Leon has sought the truth behind the key. Final Fantasy VIII. Yuffie, a female ninja who escaped to Traverse Town when her homeworld was taken by the Heartless. She stays strong and cheerful in any situation. She works with Leon and Aerith to unravel the secret of the key. Final Fantasy VII. Aerith, she lost her home to the Heartless at a very young age. Beneath her gentle disposition lies a strong will and a firm sense of duty. Many are naturally drawn to her. Aerith works with Leon and Yuffie to learn more about the Heartless and the key. Final Fantasy VII. Ansem, a researcher who studied the Heartless and delved into the secrets of the worlds. He organized his findings to, into a single volume known as the Ansem Report. When he inexplicably vanished, most of its pages were scattered to the winds. Maleficent. A sorceress of awesome power, she controls the Heartless and is said to have destroyed many worlds. No one knows what her true intentions are. She first appeared to curse Aurora in Sleeping Beauty. 1959. I think that's a good place to probably stop. Wait, wait, wait. Did they update the story? Yeah, they did. I guess we'll end with this one. I didn't even notice that. Um, 
I don't know which part of this I actually read. In Wonderland, they helped Alice, who was falsely charged with some crime, but in the end, someone abducted her. In the deep jungle, they defeated Clayton, who was possessed by the darkness. Sora was reunited with Riku back in town, but they were separated again. Sora's new friend, Tarzan, led him to a mysterious keyhole. When Sora sealed it with the keyblade, he acquired a new gummy block. This seems to be out of order. Aerith explained that the Heartless travel to various worlds through the keyholes, so sealing them might prevent more Heartless from invading each world. The new gummy opened a path to another world. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.